Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be attempting to fit a Vauxhall Corsa D 2009 VXR bumper onto my standard Corsa D 2009. I don't know if this is going to work but we're soon going to find out. It costs £320 in total, it's not brand new. I bought it second hand on eBay and I got it repainted for £75. So altogether it was not a bad price and it's worth it because at the end of the day it's going to make the Corsa look a a lot more sporty so many people wanted me to do this so i'm bringing it for you all today so stick around and see if the vxr bumper fits on a standard corsa so this is the normal corsa bumper at the moment this is on a corsa active but they're all the same and this is just on a corsa d it's not even an sxi so it hasn't got the little bumper lip there either it's got no spotlights it's just the plainest bumper you can get on the corsa but we're going to be changing that and seeing if the VXR one will fit on front of here. Where the chrome is now, that'll be colour-coded with the bonnet and the rest of the car. So it won't be chrome anymore, which it is now. We are going to lift the bonnet up. So once the bonnet's up, we can now move on to finding the screws. So we can unscrew all the screws and find all the clips so that we can take out the front bumper. So at the front wheel arch, we have got one just there at the top and one just at the bottom there and it will be the exact same on the other side and then we've got these ones connected just across here that's connected to the front panel and then just at the front we have got one tool there one just over there and one on the other side as well which you can just see there and that is what we're going to be unscrewing the torque size is a 20 to get these out. And these here are 8 mils. And it should just pull back like this. Now once all the screws are out guys, we should just be able to pull it off. Obviously, once you've got it off, you've got a little wire here, which you just want to unplug from there and it can be taken out. So there's the old one off with no spotlights or anything on it, just a basic one. And now we can move on to putting the VXR one on. All right then, so this is what it looks like once the bumper is taken off. It should just look like that. And now we have got the new bumper itself with the two lines that everyone loves. I've got a VXR badge. That I'm going to stick in here with some metal bolts so it gives it that VXR look. And I've also got the grill to go back on top of here and the bits in here need clipping back on and then it should be all ready to go. So I've got this VXR matte black with red badge and I've screwed in the screws here. This is for the front bumper. You can get some for the back, but they're stick-ons and obviously this one isn't. And I'll put the link in the description to get this. All you wanna do is get it in position. So you wanna put one in the triangle and one facing up so it looks like that. So it goes in place just like that. And you wanna get these nuts and the plates and screw them on to the back. You wanna put the plate on first. If you wanna get the plate on and get it in this type of position because you won't be able to see it through the other side and get the nut and tighten it up and then you want to do the same again put the plate on and then get your nut and put that on as well and then once you've done that you want to tighten them up so now we've got the fog light covers for the bumper so you want to put the back end in first so this clip closest to the light in between that gap and then you just want to get the rest of the clips in just there so it goes through to the other side so now they are clipped in so all you have to do is push the clips in and then once they're in you should be able to see on this side of the bumper that they have clipped in properly all the way around so that is it done if you ever want to access your fog lights they're just here and i've got another video of that coming soon of me changing these ones to something else so stay tuned for that one because it'll be coming very soon 
So now we've got what was the chrome grill, but this is for the VXR. I'm pretty sure they're the exact same as the normal courses. Just this one now is color coded with the actual bumper, so it's not chrome anymore. This is what the bumper should look like before. So now I'm gonna get the emblem grill and just get it into place. And there, it just pushes in nice and easily, just like that. And there you have the XR bumper with the color coded grill. I've kept these silver as well because I didn't think it would look that good in black, so I've just kept it the same. And then you've got spotlights and a different pattern. These are now triangles, which were originally slats of straight lines going across. And now you've got this. This should be what it looks like from behind. So now it's all good to go on the car. Once a color coded grill goes on, you should just hear it clip in place nice and easily. But now we can move on to getting the bumper onto the front of the normal Corsa. I'm hoping that this fits. It should do. The rear bumper went on like you saw in the previous video. So hopefully this does the exact same. So without further ado, let's get it on. Another thing I did forget to mention, guys, is that the name of this was a temperature sensor. It's located just there. You want to be careful when taking this out as it is very flimsy, but that's where it's located to on the original bumper. So now we're going to get the bumper on the front. And there is the front. If the VXR bumper, we've got the new VXR matte black with red badge. There you have it. It is finally installed to the whole car. Now got VXR bumpers on and everything else that you've seen in previous videos. back together. Okay everyone, so thanks for watching this video. Do hope you all enjoyed. That's the video you've all been waiting for. It's finally out and I can't believe how different this car looks from day one to now. It is honestly insane. It looks like a whole different car. I can't believe it. But let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Was it worth it or was it not? And if you do have any suggestions about what I should do to my car in a future video, feel free to comment that down below as well and I'll try my best to make it happen. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching this video.